Hello, hello, my name is Jani. Welcome to my channel. This is a cross stitch channel where we talk about cross stitch and projects and fabrics and flosses. And we make plants <laughs> because we love to make cross stitch plants. And this, this video, I want to make a, a stitchy report. I didn't make a video last week, so it's going to be a, as a longer one <laughs> because I have some projects to show you. So thank you for being here. If you are a new visitor, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Jani. I'm a Mexican stitcher. I love cross stitch. I hope you have a, a great time here. And if you are already a, a friend, a subscriber, thank you for being here. Um, welcome again. And I hope you enjoy this little um, space with me <laughs> so yeah uh, let's start with some uh, whips work in progress of uh, some projects that I've been uh, working and stitching not too much <laughs> but yeah work in progress <laughs> the first one I want to mention is uh, a Mexican band sampler uh, this is a, a lovely lovely design but it's a, it's a reproduction by Needlework Press and this uh, chart was a gift from uh, Lori Mischievous Stitches um, we are stitching this um, as a sal we start this on July um, but I'm, I'm so sorry I, I just start um, this project and she you know already have some of the of the bands but I'm going to get there <laughs> I, I am um, stitching this project with uh, CXC flosses. These are uh, polyester uh, flosses, really, really beautiful colors. And I'm using a fabric that I got here locally. It's a 36, 38 um, fabric, not completely, um, you know, even, but uh, I love to work in that fabric because I can you know, get that fabric locally, and it's really cheap. Uh, we were talking um, about this um, accessibility that we have or we don't have as um, Latin American stitchers. Um, we, uh, Scott, uh, Scott from Spain. Hello, my friend. Um, <clears throat> he was having a, a live Instagram uh, video and. I got, <laughs> I got there, and we were talking about, um, you know, how it's very difficult for for our countries um, to have access to fabrics, flosses, uh, charts, uh, because of the uh, of uh, the problems with our uh, postal service, and in in many of our countries, uh, we have to pay, you know, so much extra shipping cost and. Um, taxes uh, and a, a chart that you can get in the United States for I don't know uh, 16 or 20 dollars you ended uh, having to pay here in, in Mexico in Venezuela in Argentina in Colombia two three ten times uh, more for that chart so it's really really hard and that's why we, we ask um, the designers to to create these charts as uh, PDF versions, it's not because we wanted to you know um, infringement copyright, but because we we want to support all of our favorite designers through um, PDF charts, you know, buying those charts because otherwise they are prices so high that we can you know pay them. So yeah. <laughs> We were talking about that, and you know, not only charts but fabrics and flosses. Uh, they they are really really expensive uh, for us, but um, because of that, <laughs> we try to find alternative materials. And one of those uh, fabrics are fabrics that 
we can uh, get uh, locally. Uh, here in, in Mexico, we have a large uh, tradition, you know, in embroidery and cross stitch, and we use this um, cotton fabric uh, to to stitch. So it's not, you know, a fancy linen or or a swagger fabric, but it's wonderful to stitch. So <laughs> one of those fabrics, it's it's this. Um, cotton that I get that is 36, 38 and because I dyed uh, most of those fabrics they got you know little <laughs> so it's almost like a 40 count but I love it and I was talking about um, the, the Mexican band sampler and I start that uh, project I just you know have a, a few stitches but I was thinking I, I put it in this base uh, but I was thinking to to finish as a huge uh, <laughs> drum um, I was uh, seeing uh, Bona um, the twister twisted stitcher tutorial about how to make a, a, a pinky drum so because this design it's so you know so so large and skinny uh, I, I think it could uh, work as a, a drum so I put it here so you can see the the size it's going to be a huge drum but <laughs> nevertheless I, I think it, it will look really really pretty again I just start the project but yeah I was thinking in Finnish as a, as a, a drum and I think it could work I will let you know <laughs> but yeah I mean you don't necessarily have to finish all your pieces frame. I love to frame my pieces, but sometimes you also can have, you know, these little uh, things uh, that you can finish your your pieces. Um, for example, this I made uh, a dog. Uh, this is a design of mine, and I finish with felt in the back side, and it's a. Um, pink keeper and I put it in a little um, cage and that's it <laughs> so not everything has to be you know huge and framed but you also can have fun uh, creating these little um, cutie <laughs> pieces so yeah um, another uh, piece that I have as a whip and I haven't stitched much is a Quaker welcome by Lila's studio. This is a design also uh, was a gift from a stitchy friend and I really really love this, this design. It's so pretty but I really want to stitch this and I start um, using um, a fabric, uh, an Aida 16 that I uh, coffee dyed and bake and I'm using two threads you know to to achieve the the coverage and um, but i was not really enjoying this this combo <laughs> because i i have been stitching a lot uh projects with one thread with one floss and i really enjoy you know the 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 way my my crosses look with one floss and it's quicker for me and yeah I, I really enjoy that combo so I said you know what it's almost nothing that I got here I could start this again using just one thread so I decided to start this in a 36 uh, fabric again coffee dyed and, and bake it and this is my my new start you know really really <laughs> just two crosses but with one thread one over two and I love it looks so pretty and I feel better stitching you know that that way with one one thread so yeah <laughs> really happy I, I really want to, to finish this project um, on 2021 so we'll see we'll see you know the, the Quaker welcome and the Mexican band yeah and uh, talking about inspiration and, and beautiful things, I was watching um, Jacob uh, Floss Tube, and he was talking about uh, his line of, of design, um, Dark Crosses, 
and how now he is uh, putting dark crosses along with uh, folk with <laughs> mother folk embroidery. <laughs> Sorry, um, and and you know promoting this this uh, line, and I found that I have this um, pattern from dark crosses that I got a few years ago, and it's called All Are Equal in that. And it's a beautiful, beautiful design. I'm, of course, planning to stitch it. And it is one of those designs where you can play with, with the combination. You can stitch it as it is, or you can, you know, reverse the, the stitching, uh, stitching the, the dark part, or you can change the colors of the leaves or, or, or of the letters. and you can really personalize this design and it's lovely because you know the design it's so well done and it's so pretty that you can have fun with it and and have amazing results so yeah and i love it how uh jacob is releasing uh new you know small designs with this uh topic you know dark crosses and one well a couple of, of them are really related with the the celebration the mexican celebration dia de muertos and i feel so you know connected and so inspired by that because i have my my katrina design this is uh, one of my designs and i love her uh, you know it's it's a celebration really traditional and and here in my state michoacan it's where the celebration uh, really began. So yeah, I feel such a strong connection with this. And I love that that uh, image of Katrina. So I was really happy when I saw um, Jacob uh, designs. And at the same time, I feel really inspired by, by him. Uh, and I was, you know, talking about whips and my projects. I, I was thinking in one of Mirabilia's design, one that I have, uh, it's called uh, Princess Eliana, here she is, and I started her uh, a few months ago, I have all the, you know, all the flosses um, and the beads, and she don't use any metallics, but here are all the DMC in, in these designs you have to use the, the the new colors of DMC you know from 1 to 35 the, the number and it has a lot of beads and you know it's a beautiful design I really really love that design and and I started originally in a, in Aida and again I, I was feeling you know not connected to the project because not because of the fabric, but because of the use of two threads, and I usually stitch my my um, my Aida 14 with two threads. You can stitch it with one thread or with three or four, whatever you want to do. Again, there is no uh, cross stitch policeman, please. <laughs> so yeah, I start this project uh, in this fabric that I dye. Um, you know, the idea was to create this uh, background you know and yeah it's it's a beautiful design but again I feel like like something was was a little off for me to, to in order to to keep uh, stitching her so after watch um, Jacob uh, floss tube I decided to make a conversion not just in the color of her skin but you know the the complete face so i decided to to change her face and make her uh, a katrina so here she is well just the face <laughs> and i'm i'm stitching um in a 32 lugana that i dyed the color of the fabric is really pretty but you can really see but again with with hand dye fabrics uh, once you you look at in video it's kind of weird but yeah i decided to to design 
the fabric as a Katrina and because I want all this detail I decided to stitch it one over one uh, I, I usually <coughs> stitch all my, my mirrors you know two over two but with this one I, I, I needed to make it one over one to, to create that detail and you can see the difference between the, the two of them this is an AIDA 14 with two over one, <laughs> you know, two threads. And this is um, a Lugana 32. And in the space of the, of the face, I am stitching uh, one over one. And the, the, I'm changing the color of the, of the hair, uh, of the original hair. I make it a little darker. And I'm stitching with one thread over two because again the idea was to stitch with one thread. And I found that the coverage for for um, one thread uh, over two in 32 uh, Lugana it's great. I mean I like it. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps it's just me, but I really really like it. And originally I was you know thinking or planning in just change. Um, her face but after um, you know finish her face I I need to change <laughs> the, the, the dress um, I love this dress and perhaps I will only change the, the colors of the dress to make it a little more um, traditional for the celebration because in her face I use um, these colors so the, the you know the, the colors in the original dress are not quite similar to the one that I use in her face. So perhaps I will try to 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 keep the look of the Katrina changing the colors of her dress using uh, mainly the black because that's the traditional dress of the Katrina, you know, in, in color black, but with um, with color, you know, with pops of color. So yeah, it's going to be uh, <laughs> A, a hard work but yeah I'm, I'm really really motivated to to try to change uh, to adapt this design I mean I love uh, Nora designs and I feel a really strong connection because I love her, her aesthetic and I love her works but I feel that need to to personalize my, my stitching and that uh, the need of that freedom to to express myself through my stitching so perhaps you you found that you need to stitch according to the original design and that is what you want and, and what you like but having that uh, freedom that opportunity to play to play with creativity and to play with with uh, options and you know perhaps you can found that special connection with, with your stitching, I don't know. <laughs> and talking about creativity and how to play with, with options, um, uh, I was thinking in Star, a new uh, Blackbird design in honor to, to Barbara Adams, who passed on July 4th. And she was such an amazing artist, part of uh, Blackbird design, um, you know, um, patterns and how she she was able to to touch so many stitchers around the world and you know we are now connected for for the love of of her designs and it's amazing so i i i really want to start a new blackbird design um you know chart but i really want to make something special so I was thinking in making um, a red sampler using, uh, this is the one I, I choose to start. This is from the booklet Olala, and it's called A Bit of Spring. So it's really not a, a red sampler because it has, you know, a few colors, but I decided to, to use uh, DMC Mm, 115 uh, this red that I really enjoy working with I, I have a uh, already a red sampler with that um, 
floss and I have this fabric that it's it's queer <laughs> it's an Aida it's an stamped Aida it's an Aida 14 and I really love this fabric but I always thought you know I like the fabric but I never going to stitch on it because it's more like a decorative fabric more than a cross stitch fabric but I decided you know what I could make a really traditional design you know a red sampler but more traditional than a red sampler in this crazy fabric so I start um, a bit of spring make it first a red sampler with uh, DMC 115 and then using this crazy fabric <laughs> so this is an AIDA 14 and I'm stitching with two threads sorry but I have to and I'm so motivated because it looks so pretty <laughs> that I don't care I have to use two flosses two threads and it's really uh, you know small design I, I need to to finish this border and you know the half of the letters but I have way through and it looks so pretty so different and it's one of the things that we as a stitcher can be stitching you know the same project <laughs> and the results are going to be totally different and totally unique according to what you choose to use so don't be afraid uh, perhaps you can find something you know crazy and out there but it's going to be yours and yeah enjoy the process so I'm really really liking this uh, red sampler which is not red in this fabric which is not sampler appropriate <laughs> But, but having fun with this project. So yeah, a new start. And sorry for the noise. <laughs> this is the, the, the floss, the DMC 115. Um, one of my favorite colors. Um, I don't know, perhaps because I don't have access to all these fancy flosses, <laughs> but I found this red perfect for my <laughs> red samplers. And um, talking about community and, you know, stitchers around the world, I am participating uh, this year on the Instagram challenge, um, hashtag common thread stitcher. And it's the, the third year that I'm, you know, participating. And I really, really enjoy every year to, to join this, this um, group and this uh, you know fun game and this year it's extra special because I decided to to make it uh, more Spanish <laughs> you know friendly and I, I put all the, the challenge from is is from each day in Spanish <laughs> so we are participating also the, the Spanish um, uh, stitchers with the hashtag El Hilo Común Que Nos Une and it has been such a, a wonderful experience and yeah I'm so happy I, you know why I didn't think about this since year one I don't know but <laughs> right now we, we are many many stitchers um, you know sp Spanish uh, stitchers or sp Spanish speaking stitchers who are participating in this in this um, challenge and it's great because you can know um, stitchers from all around the world you know Argentina, uh, España, uh, Colombia, Panama, Peru and they are all participating together so yeah, <laughs> yeah it has been such a, an amazing um, experience again <laughs> And talking about amazing experiences and, and stitchy friends around the world, I want to show you a finished project. Yeah, it's Fairy Flora by uh, Mirabilia. This was a chart that I received as a gift from uh, a stitchy friend, and she sent me this this chart, and she wrote me you know what Danny I, I stitch this and I mark my my patterns and it's marked 
And I said, I love it. I love it because um, it's a, a chart that some other teacher, uh, you know, work with. And I feel so proud to, to have it with me. So thank you very much. And I start this as part of a uh, Spanish um, Instagram challenge, uh, hashtag Soy Mirabilia. I am Mirabilia. And oh, the wonky eyelash. <laughs> And yeah, I start this on July 1st and she's done. Um, I have to put it right here so you can see it completely. And I love her so much. She was just so fun to speech. I make a conversion with her um, skin and the color of her hair and I use uh, different beads and crystals that I have in my stash. So I change um, all of the beadings. Um, I use again a fabric that I dyed. It's and it's a stitch with DMC one over two. It's full of of errors and personalizations, but I think she looks so pretty. Um, I have I have loved this design, you know, from many years, and I never realized that all this part is, you know, full coverage. So <laughs> I was really struggling because I finished the the wings and the face and this part of her dress, and I said it's only the 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 rest of the dress and a, a flowers in the bottom. But no, <laughs> this took me so much time. But yeah, I really, really enjoy her. And this part was originally um, uh, stitched with cross stitch, but I use crystal instead. And I changed the color of these uh, boggles. Um, and I have to adapt because of the size of my fabric. They don't fit. <laughs> so I have to make the, the, the star a little smaller but yeah, and I um, use, you know, different colors of uh, beads. I try to, to look for the shiny <laughs> ones. <laughs> so yeah, originally this was like a pearly white color, but I use, you know, a silvery one. And all these beads are uh, materials that I get in you know these jewelry stores when you can have different types of beads and yeah i i just you know choose different colors according to the to the area that i want to to put so the colors are all over the place but i will uh, write um, the conversion for the skin and the hair in case you want to to make that um, adaptation so yeah and I will also put the, the a chart with different uh, option for for skin colors because not all you know fairies or angels or mermaids are you know pearly white <laughs> some of us have a little color <laughs> so yeah I really really love her um, she looks so pretty uh, all the details are so nice and Carlitos helped me, you know, adapting the frame uh, because I have this frame uh, a little lar larger and yeah, I think she looks so pretty and I am like that. <laughs> I am so happy. Uh, this was one of the Mirabilia classics, so I have to have it. And right now I have to, to focus on Katrina, you know, Eliana. So yeah, that is my report for today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for, for being part of this um, community and for letting me be part of it. Um, have a, a great week. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. I will see you in my next video.